Air signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out what does your person on your mind feel about you right now. For those of you who like to book a personal reading with me, information is in the description box below. Today is the 28th of January, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 4 51 a.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Earth signs, and if you were to finally get it to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same Earth sign. All right, now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, and, and Capricorn. How does that person on your mind right now feel about Earth signs? Hierophant in row first at the bottom of the deck. So your person on your mind right now are signs with the sun as a major kana and the star as well as the death here in row first. That makes me feel that they don't want this connection to end, okay? If this connection has ended, they would like to revive it. They feel positive because the sun is a happy card. It's a positive card. They feel Although it's hard though with the Ten of Wands, it's not easy, but they kind of, it's like pushing, right? Look at the Ten of Wands, this person is like pushing through. Just carrying these wands is so heavy, but I'm going to push through. So, something about them feeling like they need to push through this, or trying to be positive about it. Trying, it's like trying, you know? Because at any time, if he or she grows tired, he or she wouldn't be able to carry these wands, right? But just it feels like trying. So they're trying to be positive. They're trying to feel positive about you, about this connection. The death here is in reverse. Before, you know, the death can indicate an ending, but with it being reverse, but number 10 is also can be an indication of an ending. So they don't want this to end and they are doing the best that they can. They feel like they need to do the best that they can to, to make it happen. Okay. Because maybe there is light at the end of the tunnel. Because the sun is like shining, ray, light. So they could be feeling like maybe it is worth it because maybe there is light at the end of the tunnel. If you look at the Ten of Wands, it kind of makes me feel like it's like a tunnel and leading towards the sun here, right? So it's like light at the end of the tunnel because this is very narrow, the Ten of Wands here. The death here is in one verse. It's, it almost feels like, ugh, I don't know if I can take it anymore. It is so hard. It's also, it also feels like when you are underneath the water, because now I'm seeing, I'm looking at the star here right next to the death and world verse, feels like someone being underneath the water and trying to hold their breath as long as they can, right? Mm. Yep, and then we've got the Three of Pentacles here with the Nine of Wands and Morris. Your person in your mind could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius. <laughs> See, I'm trying to speak too fast. <laughs> Aries, Sagittarius, or a Leo, or an Aquarius. Because <laughs> my mind is when it works, when it's working so fast, I want to get it out um, too quickly, and then I start to mumble. But anyway, we've got the Three of Pentacles here. 
So it's work, work in progress, right? Um, you're gonna be feeling like this is work in progress, but it's all gonna be worth it. It feels like that. Um, and the Knight of Wands here in one verse. Although, you know the Knight of Wands, when it's being in one verse, it's almost like, you know, if it's in the upright position, look at how, look at the horse. The horse is like, you know, kind of, it looks healthy, it looks energetic, it's kind of like jumping or, you know, running or galloping. And then you've got the Knight of Wands here holding this wand, feeling hopeful, feeling driven, feeling passionate. And the red is like passion, you know, I'm going to get this done. Um, also can be quite ambitious. But when it's in reverse, it feels like I'm losing this energy. I don't know. It, it feels like, again, it's like also like, you know, how you lift weights for those people who lift weights. And it's like the last, last set, maybe. Yeah, it's the last set. And just to be, it's like you need to push it through and you know at the end of the day, it's going to be worth it. You're going to get it done. That's what I'm sensing. It. So they could be feeling like this. I need to get this done, even though I'm losing my energy here with the Nada Wands in my verse. I don't know how long more I can hang on to this. Um, it feels like if you look at the Nada Wands, this is a desert. It's almost like I'm, I'm running out. I'm running out of water. And it's still a long way to go. That kind of an energy. I hope, I hope it makes sense to you. So, Ursine, so I feel like a person currently feels that they need to push through um, all the difficulties. They may feel a little bit as though that this could be quite burdensome. There is a lot of work that needs to be done in order for them to achieve the star with you. The star is you know um to me the star is success to achieve your goals together to have their wish fulfilled with you and so the star is a you know wish upon a star and also look at the stars if you look at the stars the stars are really really far out there right it's we can't actually reach it so it feels unreachable but the the star also indicates hope so they remain hopeful so again it feels like your person your mind could be feeling like hopeful because maybe they will see the light at the end of the tunnel maybe this is workable three of pentacles it needs work and it is hard i don't want to move for it in an upright position and I don't know if I have the energy for it with the Knight of Wands in my verse. I'm trying to hang on to it, right? Do the best that I, that I can. Even though it's eating me up or even though I'm running out of res resources or running out of energy, but I'm going to push through. That's the energy I'm getting here, okay? And the Hangman in my verse, Hangman can indicate sacrifice. So there are certain things that they feel they need to sacrifice in order to make these things happen with you, which is something that they, they've been hoping for, wishing for, for a positive outcome, okay? So we've got the Nine of Cups here, and we've got the Five of Pentacles and the Hierophant in reverse. Hmm. Yeah, the Hierophant in reverse... Because it looks like maybe there is no a, a proper structure or um, it's something very unconventional. So they could be feeling this is not what they used to. It's not what they used to. It's unconventional. The situation or this connection, it could be due to age gap, long distance, um, background ethnicity or just both of you are very different from each other principles wise or it could be anything something different and something unconventional something different for them 
and the star is also a very unique energy so they could be feeling that this is so different this is out of the norm this is unconventional and and it's not gonna be easy it's gonna be hard but I'm gonna do the best that I can that I can to make it happen with the nine of cups here it's also like you know how people never thought that we could fly and then there's now there's so many planes and we're flying and rockets things like that it just kind of makes me feel like it's like almost an impossible task an impossible thing to achieve but they have faith and hope that it it could happen for the both of you we've got the five of pentacles here another card that indicates struggle so they feel like this is not easy but there are two people together even though it's not easy even though this person is handicapped some of you maybe it's that but you know it's just a metaphor um it could be a literal handicap but it's also just a metaphor for a lot of you where they feel like it's not gonna be easy right having somebody who is either very different from you are or somebody who could be holding them back because of external reasons or internal reasons a bit of a baggage here right but the nine of cups trying to remain again positive so they feel like okay for this to happen i need to make certain adjustments or certain sacrifices um yeah and maybe this wish nine of cups souls a wish fulfillment card maybe this wish of a positive outcome with the sun here will come true yep that's your reading our signs virgo taurus and capricorn is your reading again <laughs> i'm repeating myself it's for for something in the morning right <clears throat> i was supposed to wake up much earlier but i overslept <laughs> so now it's like four something in the morning but anyway um you know my timing is very off um but anyway if you would like to watch more of these videos Go and click on videos or click on daily readings playlist. I believe it's on the screen right now. Some of you, you may not be able to see it. Sometimes my friends tell me I can't see the, the end screen. But if you can't find it, go to videos, click on it, scroll the way down. <clears throat> look for your sign. There could be some other important messages for you over there. I post every single day. So these readings are very, very new, very updated, very fresh. Upload them right away, okay? And there are different questions, different topics. So there could be some other, you know, useful messages for you over there. And I, the reason why I do what I do like this now, I've made changes to my channel. And some people don't like it. Um, some people love it. <laughs> but I can't please everybody. But my thing is, I really want to explore different questions. I don't want to do the same type of reading every single day because I don't want to feel like I'm not growing or that or that I get bored of doing the same kind of reading every single day so I try to be creative I try to do ask different questions um yeah so if you would like to binge watch go ahead click on videos or uh, click on daily readings playlist and you'll find all of these videos and last but not least second last but not least <laughs> I'm open for personal readings I'm gonna leave you Oh, I'm open for personal readings. I have added a few options due to high demand because <laughs> I only had one option previously. So check them out if you'd like to book me for a personal reading. Um, yeah, you can send me an email and then I'll reply you with all the details. All right, or signs. Um, and also, last but not least, last thing is the playlist. Uh, another playlist is from my second channel. I do have a second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. If you'd like to check it, check it out. Feel free to do so. Take care, Earth Science. Hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.